I'd say uh, really the, the, the takeaway right now, it's encouraging. And we'll let Secretary Pompeo and the ambassador you know, be the spokespersons for that. Hope for peace. Is America's longest running war in Afghanistan finally coming to an end? Hello, I'm Arnand Naidu and this is The Heat. Former adversaries, the United States and the Taliban, are laying down their arms, agreeing in principle to a framework for peace that could end a decades-long conflict in Afghanistan. Under the tentative agreement, the U.S. will pull its troops out in return for assurances that the Taliban will never again be a haven for international terrorists. So can the Afghan peace process succeed? We begin with this report from Rahim Fayez in Kabul. After six days of negotiations, the U.S. envoy Zalmay Khalilzad said in Kabul that they have reached an agreement and principle on the framework of a peace deal with Taliban that can end 17 years of war in Afghanistan. Khalilzad urged insurgents to enter into a direct peace talks with the Afghan government. There were discussions about the ceasefires as well as the withdrawal of the U.S. forces. After all these discussions, Zalmay Khalilzad, the U.S. envoy, said that there are a lot of work needs to be done before he can announce that they have succeeded. But at the same time, he also announced that for the very first time, he can say that there has been significant progress on the peace deals between, Afghan, between the uh, delegations of the United States as well as the Taliban and Qatar. On the other hand, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani assured Afghan people that their rights will not be compromised by any means in the peace deal with the Taliban. He insisted that there are values that are not disputable, such as national unity, national sovereignty, and uh, territorial integrity of his country. There has been different kinds of reactions among the Afghan people in Afghanistan. There are people who are optimistic about the future of the peace talks in the country, but at the same time, there are other people who are so worried and concerned about the future. Those people who have experienced the Taliban regime in the country, they're worried that whatever achievements Afghan government has made in the past 17 years, uh, what, what is gonna happen with all those achievements? And they are requesting from the Afghan government, as well as the U.S. government, that they should share all the details of the peace talks which has uh, happened in Qatar between the U.S. representatives, as well as the Taliban. Rahim Foyes, Kabul, Afghanistan. 